Hey, what's crack a lacking YouTube? I'm back with another what sold video. These videos serve three purposes. One, it's a little record keeping system so I can see what I've been selling. Two, you guys get to see the type of stuff that I like to pick up and sell. And then three, you also get to see what some stuff is currently selling for on eBay and what price the stuff is currently selling for. What sold videos are actually some of my favorite videos to make just because you actually get the money, right? That's why we all do this little reselling thing. It's to make a little extra money. I've been trying to list a bunch of stuff up on eBay and it has been resulting and a couple more sales than usual. So it's actually Saturday night right now. I shipped some stuff out yesterday after work. So all of these 11 things that you're about to see are just from basically today. And then of course, if I sell anything tomorrow on Sunday, I will add it to this video and you guys will be able to see my whole weekend sales. So I got my ring light just blasting on me right now. I'm about empty here. Just kind of kicking back and relaxing. Finally, I get a Saturday to myself. But yeah, without further ado, this is what I'm selling. First up is a vintage 1988 Super Bowl t-shirt. Sold for $42.02. Boom, here it is, little Broncos action. It's a super soft single stitch t-shirt. I priced this one up a little bit because it was from the 80s. And you know, it only really took like I think four months I've had this sitting around. So four months and it sold for 42 bucks. All right, up next is something that I've had for a long time. I have a story to tell you guys about this, but let me grab it first for $26.26. Okay, that took forever to find. I've had this for so long that I've had it listed uh, before I started using my custom SKU numbers. So I actually had to go through all of my bins to find it buried at the bottom uh i thrifted this before i left for iceland so after i graduated college i went to iceland and i went on like a thrifting for stuff to wear when in iceland uh type of video i think i did that on instagram uh anyway this thing finally sold what makes this so significant is that it's got the little kangaroo pouch on the front but it's just a pullover this is actually pretty cool i did wear it a couple times and then i put it up for sale but dang yeah it's nice to see that go because i've been sitting on that forever the next item that sold is something i've been telling you guys to pick up for a while now it's just another simple blank vintage crew neck sweatshirt <laughs> Yo guys, I've been selling blank crewnecks like crazy lately. Uh, I got this, you can see a couple of little stains on it, but it has the nice cuffs on it. A little colorful action here to this blank. I got this two weeks ago and I paid three bucks for it and it sold for $25.75. So of course you gotta keep in mind whenever you watch like a what sold video that the, the seller has paid a price for the item. So my $3 plus your fees and your shipping which is gonna come out to be around like 10, $11 for fees and shipping on this. So there you're looking at, you know, $14, I'm into it and it sold for 25. So I'm making maybe 11 bucks on it, but that was an easy 11 bucks. So yeah, just keep that in mind when you're watching these videos that you're not seeing the net profit, but a hey, making, you know, 10, 11, 12, 13 bucks on those sweatshirts. I, I do that all the time, every day. And like, if you guys have been watching my recent videos, I've been just picking up so many like crew neck sweatshirts, graphic crew neck sweatshirts, blank crew neck sweatshirts, name brand sweatshirts, any type of sweatshirts. I pay like three, four, five bucks for them. And I sell them from 20 bucks to 25 bucks all day. I make like 12 bucks on each shirt. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's just what I've been up to, I guess, lately. Thank you for listening to that little ramble. All right, moving on. What do we got? Like nine more items to pull. So next up is a sealed pack of VHS tapes. All right, here, these are it's sealed. You got eight of them here. I picked these up at a garage sale over the summer. I paid, I think 50 cents for this and it sold here for $21.73. So yeah, you can literally sell anything on eBay, ladies and gentlemen. Up next for $78.69. I sold one of these CSGO special mouse, mice for gaming uh, on a PC. And I got this from the Amazon store. If you haven't been watching my videos recently, you've been missing out because I've been killing it at the bins I've been killing it at the Amazon store. Uh, and actually you're gonna see a lot of sales 
today I had from the Amazon store. So uh, I, I've really been enjoying those pickups and those finds. Okay, up next, I got a Harley Davidson t-shirt going out. Let me go grab it and then I got another story for you guys. <laughs> All right, here it is. Nothing too crazy, actually. It's just a Harley Davidson uh, graphic t-shirt with like the Superman chest logo thing. Nothing on the back. I paid three bucks for this at a thrift store and uh, this sold for $22.88. Yeah, I can't tell you guys the story behind that shirt. Sorry. Up next, we have $84.88. This is from the Amazon store as well. It's a Lego Duplo set. So I picked this up for 10 bucks once again at the... Amazon return store. I got two of these and I was actually getting worried, you know, that these wouldn't sell because 85 bucks is kind of a lot for this little toy. But you know, Christmas is coming up. I was really hoping somebody would like this and yeah, it's sold. Oh, this is another one. I just listed this on Monday night and I guess it's Saturday now. So within a week, I sold this vintage Harvard sweatshirt. Another great example of a sweatshirt, man, a graphic sweatshirt. I paid three bucks for it, and this one actually sold for $31.88. All right, up next, we're going back to that Amazon return store. I took a gamble on this because I was really into Pokemon. I know Pokemon's popping off right now. Uh, I actually couldn't find any comps on this, but then I got home and I did. And, and anyways, the long story short, $32.59 for this Pokemon Go toy. Okay, so here it is, uh, it's all sealed inside. If you guys watched my Ben's haul from last week, then you would have seen me uh, pick this up. So I got lucky with this, it was only listed for a week. I paid 10 bucks for it, and it only sold for $32. So not that much money, but I am glad you know, to see it go, to see it get out of here. All right, wow, we kind of breezed through all of these sales. Once again, I'll add in tomorrow's sales if I get any, but we only have two left. The next thing is for $22.88, it's a youth size Carhartt hoodie. So I actually kind of made a mistake on this at the thrift store. This was up for $7. I paid seven bucks for this, but it was super cool and I thought it was a, an adult size, uh, but it's a youth size. Oh, I just sold something. That's awesome. I just sold something while making this video. So I'll actually go grab that next. First, let me go grab this vintage Star Wars board game. All right, so if you guys are a fan of me and the channel, by the way, hit the like button and subscribe if you're still watching. It means the world to me and it's just a click for you guys. Um, but yeah, I went through a phase or I'm still going through a phase where I just can't leave behind cool vintage board games. If you know me, you know I'm a big fan of Star Wars. So I picked this up for myself, but then I was like, what am I gonna do with this? So I listed it up for sale. Got this at a garage sale for $3 and it sold for only $18.99, so not a very expensive game. In fact, at $18.99, it's probably worth it to just hold on to. All right, and then the last item for now is what just sold while making this. It's a vintage, antique, brass rocking horse. I actually got this for free out of a free bin at a garage sale this summer. This is heavy, and it sold for $25.35, so I don't know exactly how I'm going to uh, ship this out. A box, of course. Yeah, just probably a small box. Whoa, hold up. Sunday night, guys. I have five more items I gotta pack up and ship out. There's my little stack from yesterday. So yesterday we had 11 items going out and today we're gonna add five onto there, which is an extremely good sales weekend for myself. It's gonna pay off if you start listing your stuff. All five items that sold today are items that I've listed in the last two weeks. One of the items I listed this morning and it sold already. So another sweatshirt, Carhartt hoodie for $43.57. This is a good one. I figured this wouldn't last very long. It's a good size, it's a good color. I paid three bucks for it and got a nice return on this sale. Up next is something really cool. This is the item that I listed this morning. It's a vintage sealed t-shirt. It's just a pocket t-shirt. I paid like a quarter for this at that thrift haul. Uh, my most recent thrift haul video, if you watch that, you saw me pull this out of there. This was made in 1972, so this is super old. Yeah, 
40 bucks plus shipping for this one little sealed t-shirt. Okay, another item that I recently picked up from the Amazon store. It is an Anchor Power Core Slim external battery. That's a mouthful. So I got a pack of three of these. They're brand new sealed. Uh, not much really to say about it. I got $26.62 for this one and I still have two left. Up next, I did a copper drop on this on my Instagram and the majority of people said drop it. Members only jacket, drop it. But I sold it. Here it is. This is actually a pretty cool blue bomber. It's got the nice old members only tag in there. Yeah, there it is. Members only jackets still selling. I got $23.32 for it. So not a big money maker, but again, it's only been listed for about two weeks and I paid three bucks for it. There's one thrift store in my town where everything is like three bucks, which is why I keep saying this. And it's where I get the majority of my stuff, believe it or not, all comes out of one thrift store. So all of these sweatshirts that you're seeing sell for between 20 and 25 bucks, I always pay three bucks for them and I just take that money. All right, which brings us to the last sale of the weekend. It is a vintage crew neck sweatshirt. <laughs> Again, this one's embroidered, it's NFL, it's Cowboys. Nice little Lee Sport embroidered cowboys. This is a big heavy duty one. Uh, this was also in that thrift haul, I think. I don't know, but it sold for $30.27. I'm gonna take that money. What a way to end the week. All right, back to yesterday. But hey, that's it guys. Get your stuff listed, make a little extra money, and enjoy the treasure hunt. I'm Bob Dabber, full-time teacher, part-time reseller. That's it, see you on the next one.